When the client first started on this project, they did not envision a mass timber structure. They were thinking more conventional construction, structural steel, uh, what you would typically find out here in Hillsboro. We actually compared uh, mass timber to structural steel. When we look at holistic cost on the project, we really found that we could deliver uh, a 4% savings over a structural steel frame. I'm William Silva. I'm a pre-construction manager with Swinerton Builders. This project is particularly exciting because of the incorporation of mass timber and cross-laminated timber as the decking material for the project. So we're constructing a 156,000 square foot office building out here for a financial institution uh, who is locating their Oregon corporate offices to Hillsboro, Oregon. This project uh, went, came together very quickly. Uh, we're essentially building 156,000 square feet and uh, doing 17 acres of site development in 14 months. And we think that uh, that is uh, um, a good four months faster than uh, comparable conventional construction. The structure itself actually only took 15 weeks to, to erect. This uh, mass timber portion of the structure was completed in 12 weeks. Uh, we had an additional three weeks due to the uh, structural steel lateral frame. So uh, for some of the upcoming projects where we can get to an all wood solution, including the lateral system, we think that the further improvements can happen uh, relative to schedule. Hillsboro has great farmland, but it's very poor bearing value for structures. And so having a lighter structure, we were able to do it without ground improvements. Uh, we're actually constructing a concrete uh, parking structure up on the north end of the site and we had to uh, spend almost a half million dollars in ground improvements uh, in order to support the structure. So we realized those savings on the office building by utilizing mass timber. There are a lot of inefficiencies within construction process in the U.S. today. A lot of it deals with a design that gets developed, that gets reinterpreted, by a contractor, reinterpreted by a subcontractor, reinterpreted by a manufacturer. What we did in the design process is work with the manufacturer to develop a kit of parts that allowed for the project to execute more efficiently, more cost effectively, and quicker, uh, and deliver that value back to the client. Really, it's 90% about the pre-planning, pre-fabrication aspect of the site, and 10% about execution. The mass timber structure uh, is delivered at a manufacturing scale to a tolerance that is on order of 16th of an inch. So it truly is industrial furniture that you assemble on site as a kit of parts. By doing a lot of pre-planning, pre-fabrication of the pieces, uh, we developed a lot of detail within the model. Uh, that allowed us then to make arrangements with the manufacturer to where we were able to pre-fit uh, connections in the factory and have them basically CNC'd and incorporated into the structure. They, uh, that allowed for that tight tolerance in the field to where we can dial in the structure and have it fit together so tight without any field cuts. The benefit of prefabrication and having all of the penetrations already in the panels, uh, 4,500 penetrations for this project, allowed for better utilization of the trades uh, in installing the work. A lot of this project's success lent itself to the team that worked together to deliver the project. And it was exciting to see it come to fruition. And our project team is excited having delivered this project as quickly as they have uh, and look forward with great relish for the next opportunity to deliver another mass timber building.